Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to present an uh, article named Slow Fast Networks for Video Recognition. Uh, it is a paper that is accepted to ICC in 2019, and it is a research conducted by Facebook AI Research. Hmm. So for the motivation, when you when we think of a motion, uh, let's think of a motion. Uh, we are familiar with the object detection and use it a lot. But how about detecting motions? Uh, motion does not appear in a static imaging as the object does. We may regard the motion as an uh, object in a space time. Uh, I think that's a good starting point. But which approach will be adequate for implementing the detection model? Uh, may like referencing how the nature works can be helpful. So how do primates detect motions? Uh, there are two groups of cells, M cells and the others. Uh, the outstanding characteristic dividing the two groups is a spatial affluence and temporal density of uh, information. So for the M cells, uh, they are indifferent to colors, so they have less spatial information, and they rapidly adapt to a stimulus, which means they have a lot denser temporal information. Uh, let's keep this motivation in mind. And there are some other related words with this topic. Uh, spatial temporal filtering uh, is related to the uh, definition or concept of motion I just told. Uh, so they formulate actions as a spatial temporal objects and capture them by oriented filtering in space time. And also optical flow for video recognition is also related. They focus on handcrafted spatial temporal features, including histograms of flow, motion boundary histograms, and etc. So the key approach of this paper is slow, fast networks. Uh, obviously, the, they include slow pathway and fast pathway, and additionally, lateral connections between the two pathways. Uh, this is the overview of the system. Uh, the important differences between the two pathways, uh, so the upper path is the slow pathway and the below path is the fast pathway. Uh, and the major differences are the frame rate and two variables named the C and T. I'm going to talk about it. In, yeah. So the slow pathway, any convolutional model that works on a clip of video can be used. Uh, the pathway has a temporal stride tau on input frames. So when we say tau is 16, the pathway samples four frames per second for 64 FPS videos. And fast pathway, uh, it has three attributes, high frame rate, high temporal resolution, and low channel capacity. Uh, for the high frame rate, uh, it has a temporal stride of tau over alpha, where alpha is bigger than one. Uh, the authors typically used alpha as eight. So when we say the tau is the temporal stride of the slow pathway, uh, it has much smaller stride than the, the fast pathway has smaller stride than the slow pathway. And high temporal resolution, they do not use temporal down sampling layers. So they use the whole frames they get as the input. And for, uh, they also have low channel capacity. Uh, when we say the channel number of the slow pass as C, then the fast pathway has the beta C channels where beta is smaller than one. And the authors typically use beta as one A. And later, lateral connections. Uh, the information of the two pathways is fused so one pathway can be aware of the representation learned by the other pathway. Uh, so they have to fuse the two different shapes of features. So there are 
they provide three methods. And actually there are one more, which is live concatenation of two features. And anyway, like time to channel, time to study samplings, time to study convolution are those methods. So for time to channel, they transpose the best pathway features and time to study samplings, they sample at every alpha frame to make similar uh, shape with the slow pathway. And time study convolution, they have another convolution layer to fuse. So this is the instantiation spec of the system. And the thing uh, we need to focus here is the orange and green marks. And orange marks uh, mar uh, means that the fast pathway has less channels containing spatial information and green marks that marks means that uh, the fast pathway has denser inputs indicating higher temporal resolution. So they uh, conduct two types of tasks which is action classification and action detection. Mm. So these are the settings of the action classification. Uh, for the training phase, they sample a clip from the full length video. In this case, the data set has uh, video clips of almost like 10 seconds length. Uh, they sample a clip as the frames depicted, and they crop images for each video. And during the inference session phase, they use, they sample 10 clips from a video uniformly along its temporal axis. And the spatial size is different from the training phase. But anyway, they use the, uh, the spatial size of 256 to the two with the 10 clips and three crops, with, which makes it 30 views. So the main research applied to the Kinetics 400 data set is like this. Uh, I think the point here is that without the pre-training on ImageNet, uh, they can achieve the state-of-the-art performance with the slow fast system. Uh, here the number on the right of the slow fast models is T. So the frames uh, the slow pathway gets and tau, the temporal stride of the slow pathway and R50 and R101 means the ResNet 50 and ResNet 101. And NL means the non-local neural network, which is proposed by another article. And another point here is uh, they get, they utilize very small amounts of views, uh, which contributes the system to get uh, very low cost for the inference. And they did some ovulation experiments. So for the left figure, we can see that the purple points are when the authors use the slow only. So when they use the slow pathway only. And the green is when they used fast pathway together with the slow pathway. So we can see there is a general trend in which uh, fast pathway helps the overall system to perform better. And in this case, the X axis is the motor capacity in G flops. So they use only small additional amount of computation, but they achieve quite a significant increase in the performance. And for the right figure, uh, they also did ablation studies for the components. So they tested the slow only and fast only. So they tested the pathway individually and also with different methods of the lateral connections. 
Uh, so they determined that using the T-convolution -con -T lateral connections uh, achieves the best performance. And the thing to notice here is uh, when we use the fast pathway only, it uh, its computation cost is very small and it does not uh, achieve good performance when it is used alone, but it can be used as a complementary component to the slow pathway. Uh, they tested other ablation studies. This is for the input characteristics of fast pathway. So from, from the start, I talked about, I mentioned the M cells, which is uh, insensible to colors and they tested that point too. So even though they do not use the RGB information, they can achieve almost similar results with grayscale information only for the fast pathway. So they try to simulate the characteristics of the M cells here. And for the action detection task, uh, these are the settings. Uh, they use the AVA data set, which, is, which focuses on the localization of actions taken from four, three, four, three, uh, 37 movies. Uh, for this data set, uh, labels are provided for one frame per second, and every person in the clip are annotated with a bounding box and actions. Uh, they had to use the detection architecture for this task, and they adopt a person detection model trained with Tektron. Uh, the detection model is not jointly trained with the action detection models. And they use action detection structure similar to FAST RCNN with, with the slow FAST network as the backbone. And this is the main result. And uh, they achieved quite impressive results compared to the previous SOTA models. Uh, and the slow fast star model is, uh, they adjust the IOU threshold for the person detection and they achieve, they increase the performance a little more. And this is also the result of ovulation studies. Uh, and they also showed with the green points how much of the performance can be increased when they use both of the slow, slow pathway and fast pathway. Uh, you can see the uh, performance increase with the MAP values on the right upper side. So, uh, uh, so critique, uh, for the strengths, I think this, what uh, the system proposed by this paper is quite simple and also effective. They show the results clearly with the ovulation studies. Uh, and I think the ovulation studies was quite thorough. They tested components and available methods and I skipped some of them for the time sakes. Uh, and also it was interesting for me that they got inspired from the nature for the architecture of the system. And there were several references though. Uh, uh, the reason they use, they use the different spatial dimensions for training and inference phase, but the reason was not clear. And they just mentioned they followed the previous codes provided by other researchers. And for the fusion phase, for the fusion part, uh, there is no analysis on why the T-convolutional method was worse, did work better. And also the ABA action detection evaluation, there were uh, three action classes that actually had decreased performance scores. 
which were like answering phone, lying, and sleeping, and shoot. Uh, but the authors did not comment much on this part. So actually, the score was decreased very slightly, but it would have been better if they mentioned why it happened and how they can refine it. And for the new ideas, I have thought a little about this part, uh, but maybe we can. I can apply it the two pathway system to RL uh, as a virtual levels of state information. Actually, I'm not sure whether should I apply this virtual level concept to state information or reword system. Anyway, it can be in the forms of long-term and short-term information, state information or reword. So summary, uh, slow fast networks, networks con consisting of the slow pathway and the fast pathway and lateral connections. And also, I think this is an important message we can take from the paper. So using a restrained but complementary dim mirror network can boost the performance overall as a whole system. Uh, thank you for listening.